If you saw the title of this video or the thumbnail, 600 pulls. That's right, we're finally going full power on an Arknights banner. 600 pulls is basically the safest bet. Why? Well, let's consider the worst luck imaginable in Arknights. We're talking 100 rolls to have a pity for a 6 star guarantee. That means you only get 6 6 stars in a 600 pull. And unfortunately, all 6 of them are spooks. Well, we have a beautiful thing called the Headhunting Data Contract Exchange. And the thing about this is, with a 600 pull, I am guaranteed to at least get one copy of Mudra and one copy of Rosmantis. But of course, if we don't have such an insane bad luck, we're talking high potential of both of them. So why am I going that hard? for these two. Well, I have three targets in Arknights. Two of them are those two. Yes. As to why these two are two of my three targets in the entirety of Arknights roster? Well, I'm glad you asked. Firstly, I can't emphasize enough how Many enemies in Arknights have heavy body armor, very bulky body armor. I love those. And only few operators in Rhode Islands have that type of body armor. It's kind of sad. So I'm glad we finally get an operator that has body armor that looks like it came from a defense crusher or a shield guard. Or, it's basically almost the same armor as type as well from Elite Operator Ace. And of course, really really good design, the white and black color scheming. She also has some equipment on her legs that looks like they connect to her neck. Looks like a breathing apparatus or a filter. Very nice design. And of course, instead of the usual boring helmet and visor, she has a hood that covers her back. And of course, a kick-ass mask that looks like it, it's basically, it complements her natural sarcasm horns by looking like a bigger horn that looks like it came from a rhino or a Hercules beetle. And of course, her weapon is simple but effective. Reminds me so much of the bunk status of Defense Crushers. As for Rosmantis, oh man, come on, she she looks so cool. Both of these guys, look at their in-game sprites. It looks so amazing. It looks they look so cool. These two I fell in love with their Elite Zero art from the get-go. That's right. I loved Mudrock before I even saw what she looked like underneath. So speaking about why I like Rosmontis, it's like you combined Ramlethal and instead of her huge swords are Order Souls weapons, match made in heaven. She's like a Gilgamesh to me. But instead of normal looking swords, she throws the most ridiculous swords in existence. It's a freaking metal slab and she can protect herself with it or bludgeon her enemy to paste. Magnifique. As for who my third target is, well, we'll just have to wait and see. So let's start. So first of all, I don't want to waste this. The one free roll. Let's start with that. Oh, I'm so hyped up about this because unlike the Surter banner, these targets come from the heart, not from the need. Oh my, okay. Bad sign when the first roll. Oh, actually, 
by the way, since it's the second day, um, I actually used the free single roll yesterday, and of course, it's just it's a it's just Jackie, you know, the four star rate up. Nothing to consider too much. So let's now use the freebie times ten headhunting permit given to us by the game. Oh, it's just a 5-star. Oh well. I gotta start somewhere. And only one of them is a 5-star. Yep. That's the, sa that's the same first single roll that I got. I'd rather have a cardigan. She's still not max pot. Oh yeah, I would actually love to have more Myrtle. More Myrtle Pots. Oh yeah, actually, I didn't specifically state this as to the last last Arknights rolling video, but I do want a specific 5-star. Yes, that's right. My third target is a 5-star. I hope I get that specific 5-star. As a spook. Aww. Not a good sign. Yes! That's what we're talking about. Actually, now that we got the 5 star out of the way, let's just skip the rest. Myrtle is basically the best portion of what I got here. Let's continue. Come on. Oh, even worse. Cardigan at least. Let's survey. Susuro! Okay, I got my first Susuro. Okay, nothing else. A full note. No, oh, actually that's my first bee hunter as well. Okay. Let's continue. My main goal is actually max spot Rosmantis because Madra can actually spook. Still a 5 star, huh? And only one of them as usual. Yep, Jackie. Utage pots. I can't say no to that. I I always find it okay, five star. Flint! I'm actually it's actually hilarious that I have not gotten the five star rate up right now. Still, unfortunately, Flint's not of one of the more, not someone that I'll use. Bubble, huh? Yeah, that's my first bubble. Oh, this is burning a lot of ten times head hunting. Five star still. Oh man. Could it be not a dream? Could I actually hit the fabled 100 roll 6 star pity? Glaucus, wow. I'm not even getting a single whisper in. Perfumer pots, really good. I'm skipping the rest. This is my last headhunting times 10 permit. Oh my god. Yeah. I believe that this kind of luck pretty much on par. Pretty much a very juicin like luck. It hurts by the way. Other players have already gotten a Rosmontis or Modrock in the first fucking 10 roll. Finally. One of them. One 5 star, one 6 star. Okay. Mm. 
Mir is still my premier single target healer. Right now I'm not even prioritizing Shining. Oh, finally, the rate up. The six star, let it be a frigging rate up. Kokodayo. Feels good. Okay, that's one Madra copy. Let's continue. The first raid up has arrived. I hope everything else will be smoother than our first set of rolls. It isn't. <laughs> Oh man, this is basically the min roll of it. Not even that many 4 stars and... Finally, another 6 star! 1, huh? Wow, so yeah, no 5 star, 1 6 star. Mir spooks ya, yeah. completely frigging fine. I can't find the time to actually race a Shining as my... Premier single target healer because I have way too many DPS priorities to raise. And now I have Madrock as well on that priority list. Yes! Okay, one copy of each. Oh, so that's how they pronounce it. Kelsey. Not Kautitz. <laughs> okay, let's skip the rest. I'm happy. This is a better luck than freaking Surter Banner because I got three freaking six star spooks. Although that's that's basically a normal debut banner. This is a limited banner which offers higher rate ups, less spooks. Five star. At the very least, a five star. One only, huh? At the very least, a five star. I have a possible chance for my third target to spook me. That's my my optimism for a five star roll. Me. Ah, Gok is even one of the better ones, and I'm getting pots of her already. Let's skip. Hmm. Okay. Let's continue. This is just a freaking road bump. So right now we're at. I think I, I love this UI. It's showing me I already have rolled 92 times. At least I know how many times I have to roll before I stop. Of course I'm going to keep rolling the free single roll every day, but at the very least I can... Oh, still 5 star. Oops, almost hit the skip button. I shouldn't because... 2 5 stars. 5 stars are still very special for me. Aosta. Lava Golem. Nah. I love the Yugi, the Yugi cosplayer, Arc Knights player. <laughs> All I can say is, I hope I don't get too many whisperings, whispering dupes. Yep. I am psychic, but not psychic enough to know what the next 10 roll is. <laughs> I just hope I don't get too many. I'd rather have the 5 star spooks. 
because I still don't have my five star target, I still don't have Project Red and the like. I still don't have Lapland. And specifically I want Lapland just for the base skills, even if I don't have Anexia. Still a 5 star, man, okay, we're having some dry spells after after we got both raid ups, one copy of each. So right now, if we consider the worst luck possible for the, uh, the rest of the rolls, I can at least get two more copies of Rosmantis for a 3 pot. I'm prioritizing Rosmantis tokens or dupes in the shop. Skipping. Let's continue. 112 rolls. And basically less than 500 rolls to go. I'm already happy getting one copy of each, but come on. I have some optimism and standards that... Jesus. My luck is not... Too awful. And then cue the waiver banner. Worst luck imaginable. Okay, she's now swamping me. Myrtle copy, Quora copy. My first J, okay! Base skills! J is going to be an elite zero for a long time. That is until I get enough resource to elite to promote everyone. But for now, she's stay But for now, Jay is staying in the basically in the trading post for a long time. Okay. We're having a massive dry spell. Come on, six stars. Come on. Actually, by this point, we're hitting this certain amount of rolls that I did. And so far, we only got two as six stars, not the four six stars that I got. And it's not, it's not, it's not recovering anytime soon. Okay, one six star. And one five star. Mm, more J copies. I'm fine with the Susuran Spook. She's one of the really good ones, to, uh, especially in high risk CCs. I'm, I'm fine with her. I just wish for more, you know, the rate ups. But as long as the 6 star Spooks are really, really good, I'm fine with. I'm fine if Blaze, Thorns, or Aya spooks me. Crossant! But with Mud Rock now, I don't think I have any more reason to raise more defenders. Unless that defender is Saria. Not bad of a 5 star. Suzerain. I'm glad. I actually bought her her skin. I'm going to enjoy using Suzerain with Surtur and Angelina and SA. She uses she works so well in any comp that requires a lot of burst. 5 star. Two five stars, okay. I'm gonna try to be hopeful that they're not whispering. I wish there was like a single or double click gimmick or key for Arc Knight's rolling. Oh fuck. Just to skip everything that's not a five star or six stars. Oh, 
Oh man. It's not even one of my five star choices. Skipping everything else. Well, new operator. I can't say no to that. Actually, I can say no to that because I don't want six stars to spook me way too often. 152 rolls and I got three six stars. That's pretty depressing. Finally, another one. 1615, okay. Here's hoping for a pot, Quora. Nice. Here's hoping for a mud rock or a Rosmonte spot. More Rosmonte spots though. I want I want to fin I want to max spot Rosmontes from this banner just from this banner from the get go. And I can worry about mud rocks spots in any other banner that I roll to. Rosmontes! Yes! So now we got the potential of a pot 4. Two from the rolls, two from the shop. So I need two more Rosmontis copies and I'm golden actually. Oh, not skipping. I still have a 5 star. Silence. I got shining. I even have Mudrock now and Nier. So I actually don't need anyone to be isolated healed by Silence's drone. So yeah, I'm, I'm not going to raise her as I'm not going to prioritize raise her. Skip. So At least two more Rosmantis copies. Five star only. It's alright, as long as it's not a min roll. One five star. Catapult always reminds me of my younger Arknights playing days where I raised too many snipers. Sure, it actually helped me carry myself for the skill book, for the skill book farming node, as well as some early game. But of course, they fall off so fast. Waifu, if I remember, she has a really good base skill. I'm going. I'm going to study them. J and Waifu. Oh, I am going to enjoy my new base slaves Arena is also a base slave I'm actually right now picking like picking 20 operators that I am will basically keep at moral 1 just so I can have Arene have 100% effectivity for elite material crafting. Oh man. Myrtle. So far right now I have actually tackled almost every story chapter almost every supply one ignoring the annihilation 4 that is yet to come ignoring all of chapter 8 the only ones that i have yet to three star clear or cm clear is the h63 and h64 and myrtle myrtle and elysium basically carried me as well as surter of course it was worth it was worthwhile for me to actually roll for the or in the searcher banner paid dividends Oh 
んたの探し物を知ってるぜロードスのドクターさんよそう You know it's going to be hilarious if Skyfire is going to be my next 5 star. Sesa is actually a frigging joke in Discord. Yep. I'm going to turn I'm start going to start turning my original prime to orundums. Five star only. Aren! It's not your rate up. <laughs> oh! Yes! Okay. I got my first worthwhile AoE guard. Really, really good. Although she's going to be less priority considering I already have a lot of guard raised. Not a lot of guard raised, more like SA inserter carrying the whole thing. But I will raise Spectre. Because I really want a really solid laner and I'm tired of using Silver Ash as a laner and I'd rather have him be a heli drop burst so I'm I was lacking some really good DPS laners Spectre is going to be a good candidate oh yeah I got a five star skip this is a good pull just because of Spectre. Yep. Oh, man. Oh, it's a rainbow. I thought every six star has to have flames. It just actually have just to have that rainbow. Mm. So the fire is just. It's not always a tell for a six star, huh? Okay, Madraft. I'm fine, I'm fine. As long as it's not a spook, I'm fine. And if it's a spook, it better be good. I want two more Rosmantis. So right now I got two Madrox, two Rosmantis. I need two more Rosmantis dupes just so I can have a total of max pot. I love Shaw. She's the best rapper. You know, I'm starting to feel bad on that single guy that, that's an Astesia simp. Because they haven't gotten a single Astesia and I got two. So we just hit 200. So 400 more rolls to go. I'm really optimistic because we are. You have just gotten right, like what? One one third of the way through, and already have two copies of each of the two copies of each of the rate ups. Two five stars. Hmm. I'm going to quote someone in Discord. It only takes you to give masteries to Earth Spirit to know that Orchid is better. <laughs> not because of the. We're not talking about Earth Spirit's stats, we're talking about her utility as a slow operator. Oh look, it's your twin. I 
I know whispering it's not your fault because it's your rate up, but yeah, it still hurts. This recovered me. I want max spot Myrtle, and this might this this max this this rolling session might do that. Liskarm. Can you get Frank off my back by appearing in front of me? A golden glow, let it be a rainbow glow. Ah. Oh good. The five star is in front, so I can skip the rest. Hey look, it's 5 star passenger. Okay, right now I'm looking for another tell for a 5 star that's not not just the flames of the six star or the rainbow glow. I I I I wonder if there's a difference. Now that I think about it, if I don't need the defense of the defense buffs of shining, Suster is going to be a really really good premier single target healer for me. Lava Golem! Unfortunately, a lot of 5 stars are a mess. Two hundred and thirty two rolls so far. Whoa, three five stars. And one of them is whispering. Are the five star pool really that small? I'm already getting so many five star dupes and I still have the ones that I want, I don't I still don't have them. Lapland Here I am again having amnesia on what five stars I want. Lapland, Project Red, and my target. It's another whispering. Oh man. So far, I have not actually gotten a single roll that actually has two six stars in it. Here we go. One six one five. The usual. Okay, I'm getting more mud rock than Rosmantis. I just need two Rosmantis, two more Rosmantis, and I'm golden. We spell Is this a 5 star? It is. Oh good, the 5 star is in front. You know it's bad when I keep saying that. 
I'm going to will my target into existence and it's not. Look at all that Matterhorn. Five star again. Oh man. All I can hope for is I get my five star target from this. As a spook. I also want that five star target to have high pots or max pots. But of course, we gotta start somewhere, and that means one frigging copy. Perfumer is also good. Now I'm curious, when... How long do you think I'll try to th to Elite 2 promote Gravel? Because she's really worth investing on. It really doesn't help that Gravel already works as an E1 cap. It's not Surtur's banner, April. Yes! Okay! When I mentioned- Okay, Liskarm. I'm going to race you specifically for yeah, the SP battery type. But not a priority right now. Maybe you're going to be my second priority defender. The first priority goes to Mudrock. Unless I get Saria. At least I can consider this a victory. List Karma is pretty good. We're near the halfway mark. And we have right, what? 5 out of the 10? No, no. Pot 6, so 12 copies. Yeah. 5 out of the 12. Mineral. At least by this point, I think I have max spotted cardigan. Five star. Actually, now that I consider it, if I'm ever going to have that five star target be part of a banner. It's going to be painful because they're most likely going to be rated up with three, with two others, so it's going to be a shitty rate up. Especially when five stars are already this easy to spook. Whisper Rain. I think it's about... A lot of time now, but with this roll we're halfway there, and I hope it's a 6 star. It's a 5 star. 2 in the front at least. Jesus Christ, there really is a lot of 5 star niches. Yes, I'm really really fine with more Susuro tokens. Whispering. Halfway. I don't think I if I I mean if I'm not mistakenly remembering this, I got Two Rosmantis and three Madrocks, right? Or do I have more than what I remember? Ah, there we go. Halfway, the first halfway roll, and it's this. Hmm, nice. It's a stacked one. One, six, two, fives. No! I got my first copy of Moody Blues! No! It could have been Aya Fiala. <sighs> and another Whisper Rain. 
And I can't accelerate this further because there's still a 5 star in the mids. I wonder, is it another whispering? Beeswax. Oh my god. Can't believe I've gotten one of the moody blues. I know, of course, sooner or later I'm going to get all of them. It's just that this is not the banner for it, please. Myrtle though. By this point, have I max spotted Myrtle? I think so. Another mineral. Jesus. It's lagging. Oh, that's a good sign. I escape, huh? Yeah, he really does sound like Aaron because it's the same BA. Yes! One more! One more Rossman is copy. And I am going to get max spot. Good. Okay, actually, since we're already more than the halfway mark, I think it's time for me to review. To review what pots my rate ups are right now. Just so I can double check that I am correct about this. I can buy two more copies of her, so I only need one more copy. Yep, so they're both pot three. Let's continue. Only a five star, but of course, oh my God, it's a very, it's, a, it's at the very back, Jesus. Mm. It's not bad, but I'm actually hungry for high pots of feeder. Another five star, man. At least make it good. I'm beginning to learn that 5 stars have a lot of misses. The wait wasn't worth it. Still a five star. I think we have we have burned through enough rolls that we are we are almost near possibly triggering some form of pity. Uh, 
Oh man, it's beginning to hurt. So right now with the amount of rolls that we have gotten, we have gotten 6 of the raid ups and 2 6 star spooks. So it's like 8 6 stars in total. If that's a good ratio for a 6 star, I have no idea. We're doing some rushed math, it's like less than 400 pulls but more than 350 pulls and we got 8. So it's like 2 6 stars per 100 pull. That's actually really pathetically sad in my opinion. Or Arknight standards anyway. I have spaced out and I have not skipped that after Whisper Rain. Jesus. I have a lot of my on my mind regarding you know the math. By this point, I think we have to get some 6 stars after this or else it's going to be really shitty luck. You know your luck is shitty when after 50 rolls and you still haven't gotten a 6 stars, the pity meter kicks in. And when the pity meter kicks in, it's usually a freaking bad sign. I knew it. Rosmantis, come on! Two six stars! Oh, this is my first! I'm hyped! Two Rosmantis. I mean, what am I talking about? One more Rosmantis copy. And I'm in the safe zone for Rosmantis max potential. But of course, getting more, I don't mind. As long as I get that one Rosmantis and everything else is Mudrock, I'm fine with that. I'm in pain! <sighs> Out of all the six stars that could have spooked me. I know Rosa's pretty good. I know her worth. It's just that... If it's not a target, I really don't want six stars to spook me. I mean to dupe me. And that's my second six star, Rosa. Yes! Okay! We're now in the safe zone, and every raid up I get means more potential, more possibility for me to get max potential for both of them. So right now, we're at a situ we're in a situation. Let's see, we have four Rosmontes, three, two, three. I need three more raid ups, and I can max potential both of them. Three more raid ups. And I want one of those raid ups to be, of course, Mudrock. I want one of. By this point, I'm aiming for Mudrock dupes. Because it will basically provide me with the safest situation where I get max pot of each of them and I don't have to burn any one of them. We're back to 5 stars, baby. All I can ask is for one of them to be my target. But I'm happy. This is a basically a guarantee max spot Rosmantis. Means I don't have to consider any other future Rosmantis banners. All I have to consider is if I am going to get a max spot Mudrock. And if I get both of them to be max spot, a lot better for me.
A call out to the Astitious Simp. Are you seeing this? Can we... Can we trade... Uh, my Astitia for... One of your 5 stars that might be my target? We sparring! We are now two thirds of the way through, and I need three more raid ups. One of them has to be Mud Rock. Three more six star raid ups. Just so the monkey's paw doesn't abuse that wording of mine. That's the five star. One of them. Calm yourself. Calm yourself. Whispering cannot hurt me. And yet, why is it so painful? We got like 107, 168 rolls to be exact left. And I wish to get three six star rate ups. Mm. ボス Nothing. It's the very definition of a mean roll. The only thing that I'm getting here is more green certificates, which is pretty good because green certificates will basically accelerate my farming. Material is up the his ass. Please be golden. Even better. Let's go! One six star. You're hoping that's one mud rock. If it's one Rosmantis, I'm still in the clear. Ooh! Warfarin! She's actually a pretty good, useful ST medic, although she has double purpose. I'd rather her be a buffer than an ST medic for multiple units. I'm glad I actually got Warfarin. So now I only have one more utility healer left to get. And it's Nightingale. I'm getting 6 star dupes already. I don't think the 6 star general pool is that small. This is... This is one 6 star less for me to... It's a... It's... It's... It's kind of a waste. It could have been any one of these two, but I missed. That's a pretty good glow, but 
Yeah, it's a five star. Oh, great. It's in the front. Finally! Really good operator, as well as a kick ass base skill. Pretty amazing. Finally, that means my secondary command center squad will have Rosa and versus operators like Zima. Gummy can stay at the trading post. But I finally got Project Red. Yes! Let's go, baby! One mud rock! Okay, it's in the middle. I'm good. Yes! Okay. With this, I only need two raid ups, and I have any. They could. They could be any. They could be any of the raid ups. And I will have max max pot of both of them. If I get two more six star raid ups. This is a good sign. One eighteen rolls left. I hope I hope I still get two six stars raid ups. Mineral, just get it out. Just get it out of the way. Just a five star. You're hoping for a Lapland or a target. Okay, remove that from the picture. 98 rolls left. A mineral, Jesus Christ. I hope by this point this is the last mineral that I get. Let my pursuit of two of my three target waifus end here. <sighs> Let's continue. I know I'm already happy so far with the results of the pulls, but of course, once I'm in a specific bar, I increase that that set of expectations accordingly just so we'll, I will always have a main goal present until of course I reach the maximum potential of that goal one more one more six star rate up and I think I can consider this a success one more six star rate up Mineral, Jesus. Susuru at least. Now let's continue. Come on, this is the integral portion. I only want to see flames. It's a 5 star, jeez. I'm so close to my goal. So close. Oh, Ah. Well, at least it's not whispering, but it's not new either. That's the five star. Yeah, so it's weird. There's been some six star bags that don't have the flames, so. 
But it does still have the rainbow glow, so yeah. So, now right now I'm double checking every golden glow because it could be a 6 star without a flame. Let this 5 star be good. Yep, I'm skipping you. Come on, I just want to see that rainbow glow, that golden flame. So close, but the end is near. That's not good. <clears throat> That's not good at all. I'm so close. Yes! Could this be the end? Oh, it's in the back. Jeez, the anticipation. So let's see who the five star we will get. Everything's going to be based around that. Okay, if it's whispering, let the six star be a raid up. Come on, 70%. Come on. Let's go, 70%. Let's go! Yes! Yes! Okay! I wanna double check because I am hoping so much here I got what I want. Let's see if my math is correct. I only need to buy off the two copies of Frost Monty. So basically, I'm going to keep rolling until I hit the 600 mark. So yeah, we only need to roll for... 18 left and if we get another six star on those 18 rolls all the better because if I get another Three star rate up that means I don't have to buy The other copy from the shop and it'll help me a lot in my material resources for the other shop Okay, it's just a five star. Okay, it's fine. Oh Man is it at the very back? Did I just skip? No, no. I have to keep integrity that... I have to have fanfare if just in case the 5 star is my target, I will have fanfare. I will have presentation of her... Oh jeez, I just gave it away, isn't it? It's a 5 star her, yeah. I will give her the fanfare she deserves. So I gotta keep this up. I don't have to skip just yet. But I'm happy. I'm so happy that a 600 pull, of course, it's already a lot of brute forcing, a lot of pulls to max spot two 6 stars. I'm very happy. That means my last, my third and last target is the only one that's not max spot yet. Nor, nor do I have her yet, of course. I'm appreciating the beauty of a limited banner. I'm so lucky that my target is in a limited banner. It's a nightmare. And I'm not talking about her name, I'm just talking about that this is a nightmare. <laughs> We're single rolling, folks. Eight single rolls to be exact. Yep, white. Oh, that's pretty good, actually. I don't mind Spectre tokens. We sparring. I should just stop with the dra drama because these are single rolls. They're most often going to not be an orange glow. I'm already lucky enough I got Spectre and a, a token. 
と。報道を呼びたい A6、カタパルト、着任です。さてさて、あんたはあの僕ね。Six hundred rolls here, folks. So here we go, guys. The very reason why we went for six hundred rolls. There it is. And here it is. Two copies of Rosmantis. Wow, this is a weird feeling. The store background music with the usual pulling session UI. And one more. One more r o s m a n t i s copy. And folks, we are done! Max potential r o s m a n t i s max potential mod rock. This is the proof. This is the absolute proof that I have max spotted them. So, guys, in conclusion, after the 600 pull, there were, there were some, of course, some、um, bad feelings, bad thoughts. So many whispering copies, so many whispering dupes. Mostima and an Angelina dupe. But in return, I got. My two main targets, Rosmontis and Madra, both max potential. And of course, for a consolation prize, I have gotten Suzerain and of course, a Spectre with a single token. So, I can consider this as basically a frigging success. So, guys, I hope you have enjoyed this pulling session and I hope to see you in my next video. So, Thank you very much for watching. Have a nice day.